Your voice, your opinion, your community. Fact TV, free speech, protected. I'm Robert McBride, and this is Everyday People, a program in which we investigate the lives of people making a difference in our community. Hi, this is Robert McBride with another episode of Everyday People. Here we are. And on today's program, we are interviewing some a room full of energy. That's how you <laughs> describe it. It's really great. Um, you have with us Tuck, Tuck, Tuck Wonderly. Yes. And he's a local kid, and he's going to start the story off um, about goes to Emerson College, and all the other people that we're going to interview today are from Emerson Gillian, or Jillian. Jillian. Jillian, thank yes. you, <laughs> and stuff. And I think we're just going to let them tell their story. So what are you guys doing here in Bellows Falls oh. for this week? Well, this week is actually a reprise of what we did uh, last week. This is our spring break, which is it's a little early to be a spring break, but it is our spring break. So this time last year, we were up here with a crew of 11 other Emerson kids filming a little movie called Back at 12. And Back at 12 um, is a film that um, the two of us, along with the two other uh, friends of ours that you'll see later on the program, um, wrote and, um, and kind of created and uh, Tuck and Matt um, conceptualized in fall of 2018. And it was just like a little small idea um, about like a coffee shop sitcom that later snowballed into a full length um, over hour and a half long film um, and we just like over spring break uh, it was we just kind of got a ragtag bunch of 11 um, Emerson kids uh, some of whom we didn't meet until we all kind of came up um, to film in Bellas Falls and spent a week or 10 days uh, just doing 18 hour days filming constantly and just like this little small idea became this huge big film um, yeah that we just made for fun outside of any classes or anything and yeah so let's step back a second let tell us <laughs> yeah. a little bit about Emerson College first of all for people yeah. that may not know like Emerson College is yeah, well, I work in the admissions office, so this is a wonderful <laughs> question for me. Um, so Emerson College is a small liberal arts uh, college in the heart of downtown Boston. Uh, we have an undergraduate, um, about 4,000 undergraduate students wow. total. Um, and yeah, it's a uh, communication school. Um, most of the curriculum is based in communications and the arts. Um, we have a small group of majors, the biggest being film. Uh, visual media arts is our hugest, um, or biggest, largest, uh, it's big. Yeah. It's our biggest major, <laughs> okay. um, and um, yeah, we have a top ten um, film program in the country. So it's cool. stuff like yeah. this is stuff you see all the time. Neither of us are and film majors, no. <laughs> but <laughs> but it's big. And, yeah. Because of Emerson's focus on film, um, we were able to for the movie get a whole bunch of equipment from a student run organization, yeah. and also just all the kids there are really motivated and creative, mm -hmm. and so it's a really good uh, environment to foster ideas like this. Yeah, yeah. I've said that. I've said this before, but like the like we framed for a second was the organization we rented all the equipment from. We rented out the whole place and got these like we did get like eleven people who were so willing to come for ten days with strangers and mm -hmm. film with us. And um, because of Emerson, like I don't think we because we had the resources and the people like that you wouldn't really be able to find like anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So like and we were able to foster this like and grow this like little small idea that the four of us had into this big huge thing because of like the people and resources right. we have there which is cool that's good yeah. and we're and i'm gonna because i'm gonna we're gonna sort of tag team off because there's two more emerson students yeah. we'll, that we'll interview in a minute but um so where did you how did you hear about emerson where did you come from to go to emerson yeah. what were some of your other choices and absolutely and stuff? yeah um, um you go well, I, I heard of Emerson because my uncle actually went there. Okay. And when I was looking for schools, I um, was really interested in journalism. And they have mm -hmm. a great journalism program down there. So I applied and decided to go there for journalism. And then kind of decided that that wasn't what I wanted to do. 
Um, so I moved out of that major, but I couldn't be happier with the, you know, the people I've met and the opportunities mm -hmm. that's presented to me. And what major did you move into? Oh, I'm writing literature and you publishing right okay. now. So none of this makes any sense. Okay. But, um, and you grew up between Bettles Falls and Chester. Yep, grew correct. up right in the area. So okay. this place is very near and dear to my heart and nowhere I'd rather make a film. Than. Great. Yeah. And your yeah. story, Julie. Yeah, so I'm from Scranton, Pennsylvania originally. I heard about Emerson um, through um, a career college counselor I talked to at the end of my junior year. Um, actually, at my aunt um, was a superintendent at a school down by Philadelphia, mm -hmm. and I went down to talk to her, the college counselor at her school, because I, my school didn't have like a great career planning program. And I told her, at the time, I was in between going into something in the arts or law were my two options. And so I settled on communications and lied and told everyone that's what I wanted to go to because <laughs> okay. I thought that was middle ground. Yeah. And so I gave her a list of schools um, that I was like interested in and told her communications. And she was like, if you're into communications, this is one of the best communication schools in the country. She told me about Emerson. I got an information packet, found out that they had much cooler majors than communications, and uh, applied to all my other schools for law. But Emerson was like my little, okay. like, my little best kept secret. Yeah. Yeah. It was really good. And I have to, for full disclosure, Jillian and I had this conversation the other day about Steamtown. And that's yes. another connection yes. she has to Bellows Falls, because um, our Steamtown in Bellows Falls ended up being moved to Scranton, Pennsylvania. Which I do yeah. want to apologize for. <laughs> um, yes, so we do have the steam town from Bellows Falls, but I and we are the steam town now, and All again, right. I'm sorry. Okay. But I will say that none of our train tracks, and like we don't have um, active running rail, rail active railroads, so you guys won in the end. Right, 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 because right. yeah. we still have trains yes, and train going don't. through, and you could still catch Amtrak yeah. to go to Washington, D.C., right yeah. in downtown Bellows Falls, which is it's amazing. It's a gorgeous ride. Yeah. I highly yeah. recommend yeah. So the, okay, so you, 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 you're working on this film. Once again, what's it called? The film's called Back at 12. Okay, mm -hmm. Back at 12. Great. And then I, we're going to see a trailer of it, I think. Yes. And stuff. Yeah. And I don't know what point they want to put that on. But um, what else do you want to tell us about the movie? And Because I think when we get Matt and Billy on, we can talk maybe because people will have seen the movie mm -hmm. part or the trailer. Talk a little so we'll more pick up at that, but I want to hear their... Their stories about getting to Emerson also, yeah, too, definitely. and everything. Yeah. Um, well, the idea for Back at 12 kind of arose out of a lot of different experiences the four of us have had working in, like, the food service industry. Oh. Just kind of the absurdity that can go along with that sort of um, mm -hmm. environment and work workplace. And we've all kind of worked for some, you know, kooky people and some kooky scenarios, so we decided to kind of streamline all those experiences into one film that kind of ended up being more absurd than any of us could yeah, have predicted. It's, so the basis of the film just is it's um, four coffee shop workers um, have to deal with the aftermath of a death in the shop. And um, and that's kind of where it all derails from there. But um, yeah, it's there's we definitely cherry picked moments from each of our four experiences. Like personally, like my family owns a bar, and there's a lot of kooky people, especially from Scranton, that we drew from. And yes. a lot of it was just kind of like sharing stories and taking the weirdest, strangest things we could find and making this like um, just conglomerate of strange things into one big strange thing. Um, cool. <laughs> but yeah. And so also, I just want to ask, so are you going to be able to um, do a little pre- I know we've talked about doing something here in Bellows Falls in the summer, mm -hmm. but also at the college, uh, will you yeah. be able to do something at Emerson that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, Emerson has a lot of, obviously, because there's a lot of spaces for viewing. Right. Um, specifically, there is, like, we have, like, uh, Bright Lights, which is, like, where you can kind of, um, it's a program where, like, they film a lot of movies and they do a lot of things like that. Um, on, it's like a screening um, room on campus. There's a lot of those. So ideally, um, because we'd like to release the movie this uh, summer, so ideally next fall we'll be able to maybe, like, get our friends and do a screening at this School, right. You might get all these low, uh, you know, loyal Bellows Falls people that oh, have seen it yeah. here. Come down. Run a bus and go yeah. over, man. Get yeah. a big enough That's screening good, room. Yeah. It's know? a cult classic already. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, love it. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to make it a cult classic before it's ever been released. Yeah. So. Yeah, great, great, That's great. a big focus of cool. ours for sure. Well, I think we're ready to um, see a little bit of the trailer. So we're going to put that on. And after the trailer, we're going to meet two of the other people. We're going to meet Matt and Billy. Yeah. To talk some more about it. Yeah. Great, great. Thank, well, thank you, so you much. guys. Yes, thank Good. you so much. Really appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome.
We just talked to each other. Great. So we just saw a little bit of this. Just the teens. Just, just the yeah. teens, man. Mm -hmm. So I want to say hi. This is Matt and Billy. Hello. Yep. And yeah. these are two of the other of the, hey. the core hey. teens. Hey, 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 how you doing? How you doing? Nice to be so, here. So tell us, tell us a little bit about what we saw and what is going to happen in another hour and 39 minutes of this. Yes. Well, um... So it's it's supposed to be a postmodern rebuke of the Trump administration. Yes. Um, it's really digging our talents into that orange neck. Yeah, yeah, we were we decided to be unapologetic with our political message. We Absolutely. wanted to be overbearing. We wanted to be. Um, it's obnoxious. It's obnoxious. The That's amount really, of sort of symbolism. There's nothing clever no, about, yeah, the, no, about the political. Not subtle at all. No. Mm. So um, do you think the rural setting really is? Is fix, fix, fits for that. A rural yeah. coffee shop is the ultimate place to sort of just lay out all your issues and gripes with the American political system. There's no yeah. better allegory for that institution, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. So now I got to, I, I want to back up a little bit here. I want to know Emerson. So you guys chose Emerson College to go to. Only school where, we applied and to. Where yeah, did, only school, okay. only school. And where did you come from to go to that school? I came that. from uh, New Jersey, a small town of sixty thousand people. Huh? Um, <laughs> uh, it's it's it was it was it inspired me in, in many ways where I grew up because it was you know so close to New York City but so in New Jersey. So right, so right, right, New right, Jersey. right, right. Okay. And New Jersey just it molded and shaped me. It turned me into a, a tough as nails person. Turned me into a turned me into a, you know gave me gave me street smarts. Gave me book smarts. Right. Gave me. It gave me everything. It gave me wisdom. It gave me nurture. It gave me music. Yeah. It gave me. I came from a, uh, yeah. <laughs> from a real small town yeah. in uh, Massachusetts, what Southern Mass. Mass. A real small. Town? Yeah, yeah, a real How many one. How people? Uh, no, sixteen thousand, not sixty. Come sixteen thousand. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. Uh, I, but you've, you know, I've stayed in towns with three hundred, four hundred, you know, two people sometimes. Small Which towns. Which town was two people? Oh, oh, Durin, Maryland. It was Durin, Maryland. Can, we, can someone look that up? I don't believe <laughs> yeah. that there's two people. Yeah, look up Durham, Durham Maryland. Maryland. Look up Durham. Someone look it up. That guy just checked, yeah. What, who? There's no one in here. <laughs> there, there are people out there. You know, they're already, they've already come in. There's probably one person from that town watching yeah, the show yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, they're right. tuning in. Hi, Lorraine. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, I want to know kind of more about Emerson, you know, Boston, mm -hmm. and going to school mm -hmm. there. And, well, you know, was, would you? Yeah. No, no, you know, we'd like to know if you would encourage People that might be listening to this, kids that are thinking, I want to go do something. And how did you end up doing the film? Did you go there specifically for yeah. film? Yes. I mean, we talked to Tuck and Dilly, and then they didn't go there specifically for film. They ended up into mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So I, did... I did go there specifically. Okay. And you're a junior right now? I am right? a junior, yes. Great. Junior. Yeah. Great. I, Great. It's named after Wal Ralph Waldo Emerson. No, Charles Emerson. Charles Emerson. Charles he Emerson? was an orator, an orator. Yeah. a speaker of the times. Mm -hmm. Yes. I well, wish it was named after Ralph Waldo Emerson. <laughs> Much better Emerson. Okay. And you, I went. I go there for comedy. I went there because it's the only comedic arts program in the country. Oh. It was brand new, and I thought it was an interesting timing. So, but uh, ideally, my focus would always be film. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So when you you got you, you sort of brainstormed initially this with Tuck. Yeah. This idea yes. you guys were talking. We were it, it we were in a cemetery. We were actually this is a true story. True story. It is true. We went to uh, Mount Auburn Cemetery yep. in Cambridge. Sure. sure. Beautiful cemetery. Yep. Great. Yep. Great headstones. Great mausoleums. Great. It's everything. Great river. Want. And great view. One of the best views of Boston yep. is in Mount Auburn incredible. Cemetery. We stopped at this wonderful little coffee shop. We were there. Tuck actually ran into someone he knew. From Chester. Oh, yeah. and he's that then, yes, just then? then, just then, wow. back then, and that was he was. They were both so surprised because like, wow, not, not many people come out of here. Yeah, not yeah, many yeah, people yeah. Are, of us are in Boston, mm -hmm. and so you know, it was it was almost fate that day. Yeah. I guess you could say. And yeah. we started writing right away. Right away. Right away immediately. Yeah. Right we still, and like Tuck mentioned, I know in the last portion is we all just started throwing in as much, and a lot of writers will tell you this is what they do, but as much of our real life experiences as we could, and just making them about as silly as we could think of, really right. is how it went down. Escalating every element of these very already goofy stories yeah. from work experience that we had. Right, right. 
So, so, so it kind of evolved. And then how did the location happen? Like, let's go do this in Bevel's Falls. It was because Tuck was here. He had access yeah, to the coffee shop, yeah, yeah. places for you guys to stay. It was almost kind of always theorized that we would hopefully, ideally, from the beginning when we were writing a coffee shop, we were imagining it in the Flatiron. In here now, had you Bellas been Falls. here before? I had been here twice. I had never or, been. And you'd never or been once. here, right. I'd once, one or two quick times, I'd stayed for a day, been driven up, um, had a, a fantastic time, was treated like a king, a uh, yeah. true prince. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. love it here. Yeah. Well, I think what's also kind of interesting, and so then as the as the project evolved, you know, and then you had to put out a call to get, you know, actors and actresses and actors and stuff, that there were some people, I mean, that they just responded. They didn't really necessarily know any of you mm -hmm. guys. They were yeah. working on a project. And the first time, I think Jillian was saying that some of them, you all met each other, was when they walked actually into the coffee house in Bell's Falls. Yes, even, so, the, even the crew members. We, yeah. we, we put out a little crew yeah. call, yeah. and some kids came through. They were interested and said, all right, hop in our van. We're going yeah. to Vermont, yeah. and, we're, and you're going to work for us and, and 12 you know, hours a day. And uh, did that have the natural, I mean, the tensions and the not tensions that you know you're working under an intense situation yeah. like 18 hours a day yeah did everyone kind of come out of it good no 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 no, 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 no. no so <laughs> friendships were severed you don't have to mention any names yeah yeah, yeah. oh no we we didn't speak for uh four this is months, our first five, time yeah, really, yeah like, the first time getting down and yeah. having a yeah. full yeah. conversation yeah, we, we can't be in a room together this is, yeah this we is. were asked our agent got together and begged us basically yeah. on hand and knee yeah. to be here absolutely no no but i mean let's so it must have been tough and interesting and intense and um and I imagine friendships grew out of it too. And yes, a hundred percent. Whatever you work on, experience. But the deep, like, deep emotional ties that were severed on that yeah. set, mm -hmm. I definitely had more of the last irreparable impact. damage to 100%. many of the relationships yeah. that came yeah. in. Yeah. Okay. But I was good to meet Calder and Graham and a hundred percent all the yeah. new guys yeah. who came in. There's actually um, a, a night that we met them. I think it was maybe six, ten hours before we left for Vermont. We had our first actual time hanging out as a crew. Mm. And that included me and Matt cooking up this big pot of slop mm -hmm. that we sort of just served everyone as like mush, just kind of yeah. yeah it was it was like a red well, mush welcome thanks big, for coming big on our squeezed trip. up yeah. tomatoes yeah but we we offered kids a free spring break and they you know yeah. they took it and they got a cred yeah. for a lot of these people who want to work in the yeah, industry yes. okay. so now you're back here this week so where is the project at this point as of three a.m. okay there is a rough cut of the project. First ever, hard to even call it a first draft because mm -hmm. there's still certain elements missing, but so much further along than we felt even a month ago. You know, it, it continues to snowball right. how much progress right. we've made. Okay. Yes, there's there's a lot of hype around it. It's, it's in the uh, in the cult film world, we're kind of known as as the biggest cult film ever ever uh, made. Right. Um, well, that's why you're on this program. Yes. yes yeah, right yeah, now, yeah, and yeah, that, we're sort of adding to that. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because everyday people is like the place. To oh be yes, I think, yeah. You guys, you guys, you guys have had everyone here. Uh, David, David Cross was here. <laughs> David Cross uh, David was Cross here. Was here. <laughs> Oh, Did you see that? You guys screen. have a green screen. Can That's very interesting. Can we use this can we green use this screen? screen? Yeah, I have to talk to Alex about it. Okay, absolutely. we'll talk to Alex. Yeah, we'll talk to Alex. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Can, can you put a note? <laughs> note put a note down for talk to Alex. We'll talk to Alex. Yeah. So, you got this thing. What's yes. the next step? And you're doing this all now just on your own time. This isn't all part of a coursework yes. yes. or no. anything. No. So, you got to <clears> find the time. It's to certainly do it. gotten in on coursework time. I would say we've allowed our studies to completely fall behind us over this one. I, I am talked to some of yes. your parents already. Yes, I have. I've just talked to them, and they're you know we're gonna get through this. They're Don't proud. worry, they're, they're still proud. gonna send yeah. a check a little bit more, but you know. I am I am of junior standing, but I have completed the freshman course load. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm I've been on academic probation since my beginning of my tenure at Emerson. Yeah, yeah. So no, so you hope to have it finished and premiere it like this summer. Hopefully we're thinking? this summer. Um, yeah. Loose August uh -huh. premiere mm -hmm. period. Yeah, right. 100 um, percent. We know, we've been talking to Paramount a little bit. A uh, little bit. Think, yeah. Just yeah. just the yeah. earliest sort of right. backroom dealings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We have, you know, we have a lot of thanks to offer to you for having sold the building in the yes. first place. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. That Thank ended. You. We ended up using. That's a phenomenal connection that we have. Do you want top billing? We can give you. Yeah, we no, can no, definitely no, thank no, you. No, 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 no. I've been very happy to support it in any way I can. We could back at twelve a Robert film, right, right. a Robert McBride Robert, production. Robert McBride film. But I want to know what you think, you know, about coming to Bellows Falls. Oh, what do you it's think of Bellows Falls? No, what do you think of it as like a little a village? I mean. Vermont has 600,000 people in the whole state. Bellows yeah. Falls has 3,600. Mm -hmm. It makes it one of the 
15 largest communities in the state of Vermont. We're talking rural out here. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I mean, I happen to be very prejudiced to Bell's Falls. I love it here, <laughs> and I think it's really great. But, um, no, just as, you know, you've come up once or twice before, so you had a little bit to know. But yeah. sort of being dropped in, like when, when Tuck said, we're going to go to my, my mother's place and mm -hmm. we're going to go do this filming, did you have any imagination from communities you'd been in New Jersey to oh, think about what a community yeah. in Bells Falls would be like. I had a very clear but, mental image of what the flat iron was going to look like, and it looked nothing like what I thought it was going to be. Uh -huh. It was better. It was certainly okay. better. Okay. When we got here, we got dropped off. We were, it was cold, and it was snowy, and we saw like those stairs, and the picturesque town, there's nobody around. It was, wow, it was, yeah. it was pretty spectacular yeah. coming in. It was well, yeah, captivated, yeah. captivated by imagination. Well, I, what I like about it, too, is that it's an industrial town, and and I mean Vermont is all of the rural and the farming and stuff too, but a real history thrust is the development of the Connecticut River in the late mm -hmm. 1700s, and you know I love that it's this brick downtown. Yeah, and it's very urban. Yeah, you know, to me I, it's a very urban setting. I um, the first time I came, one of the first things Tuck told me about the town was that it is the first um, canal, uh, commercial first chartered canal, canal, first yeah. chartered canal, and that was very interesting to me coming from. Like a three uh, a town that's three hundred plus years old, lots of history, lots of historic walls and and the such and buildings and old 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 structures, and so coming here and seeing like you said how there is like like a clear history in every brick, but there's also all that history is very industrialized. It's all based around like an already industrial movement. Very interesting to see. We went up to the top of the mountain, Fall Mountain. Fall mountain. mountain. Yes, yeah. yesterday was our first time viewing the town in its entirety and yeah, yeah. its full, mm -hmm. and I think that. When you, when you stare down from there and you look at the town all at once, you sort of get everything you need to know right there. The mm -hmm. quaintness, the connectedness of it, everything that you think is further away is actually very close. And you can, especially from, you know, people who've been here twice, yeah. one time, it's crazy to look at it all in its entirety to yeah. see how the river has yeah. defined the locations and everything. Yeah. And historically, you know, it's an interesting place because um, between New Hampshire, where you cross over to Fall Mountain and and Bellows Falls, the rock formations on either side of the river are different rock formations. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's actually a tectonic plate split wow. that is here. You know, so you're actually sitting on you know different mainland when you're in yeah. Bellows Falls than the, the territory that's yes. right across the river. Geologists sure. they use those to map out continents, don't they? Sometimes yeah. the tectonic yeah, splits yeah, like that. That's yeah. wild. Yeah, so it's really really cool. So um, is there any other information they, I mean, is there any website stuff they would look at? Is there any stuff that they want, people want to keep updated on what you're doing or just information that we'll be putting out yeah. and doing? So we, we have a very disjointed, um, chaotic uh, marketing scheme going yeah. about. Uh, shout out to our friends at the Harvard Film Archives, yes. Slim Jr., Rachel, Rachel Salazar. Um, they will be keeping us up to date on all of. They've the been doing a great job. They've been doing a great job. Harvard, we've been working really closely with the Harvard. Yeah, Film we have to have some friends some who are good interested friends in there. kind of keeping up the marketing moves and yeah. doing the historic sort of deep dives on the characters, the yeah. actors mm -hmm. in the movie, that sort of thing. Great. Um, also, you know, a lot of a lot of local artists kind of heading out, doing a lot of art for us and trying to help Definitely. promote too, as Definitely. well. Shout out Grog. No, not Grog. Yeah, you're not a fan. That's fine, though. No, we're, we're looking for sponsors. Oh, Subway. 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 Bank of America. <laughs> Bank of America. <laughs> we got a movie for you. Yeah, got it. Great. Fantastic. Good. So I think we're going to wrap this up. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. you guys coming back in the summer and doing a premiere here. We are as well. In the, in the Opera House in any we way that are. we can help do that and stuff. That would be great. So um, is there anything else, any other people you need to give acknowledgement to? Um, Constance Wu, Greg Proops, Wanda Sykes, um, Sun Tzu Art of War, yeah. um, Robert Glasper, Scott Stearns, Scott Stearns, big shout out to Scott big Stearns, Poji, Scott Wonderly as Scott, well, Scott Wonderly. And, and that's that's the other thing is like, you know, they say it takes a village, Robert, oh my but God. really really it takes a family yeah. when it comes to a production mm -hmm. like this, because yeah. it was Tuck's family that fronted so much of the bill, did so much of the travel yeah. for us, carted us around, like we could not have done it without the hospitality of sort the sort of Vermont mm -hmm. hospitality that you see up here and, and, and the, the familiarity everyone has with one another. It's fantastic. And most of the cast is local actors. Most yeah. of the cast. Oh, cool. Most yeah. of the cast. Yeah. Yeah. So Only a couple call Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so spilled I'm, all I'm over so the place. I'm so Oh my god, I think now. it's time for us to wrap so this up. Oh, it's getting messy in here. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. so I want to thank Fact TV for being such a great resource in our community to share information of what's Shout going on. Thank you. 
And I want to thank the uh, Vermont Arts Council, the National Endowment for the Arts, uh, Chroma Technology, and uh, the Wyndham Foundation, as well as Stewart Property Management for helping to underwrite RAMP, as well as all the individuals out there that help support RAMP and this TV station, so this cable access station. But thanks again. Until the next time, see you on the square.